Hey guys, today we'll make origami cases for sweets. Let's start with an ice cream shape. Ice cream? He said ice cream! Or why do you need that paper then? Sammy, calm down. Our case will be made from this paper. Be patient and you'll see. By the way, whose birthday are you going to? <laughs> My friends from Tiki Daba. We met a long time ago. Really? Can I meet him too? I would love that. How old is he? What is his name? Good macaroons, are you grafting or interrogating me? Ah, uh, Sammy, what are you doing? I thought those sweets were for your friend. Ah, uh, oopsie, I thought you didn't see that. I was just checking. By the way, I can help you. Why, thank you, Sammy, I could use that. Yay! I'm gonna make a fold here, like this. Now, could you make the same thing with this part? Sorry, Sam, I'm too busy. <gasps> oh, my Ah, oh, Sammy, Sammy, I knew I'd have to do it alone. For sweets, not some kind of a ship. Sammy, you're rushing as always. Just wait a bit and the result will please you. Um, I don't see how that can become a case. Watch this. One, two, three, ta-da! We have a small case. Even now it looks good, but when we finish, it'll be really great. Whoa! <laughs> now we can fill it up, guys! No, Sammy, you will put your sweets here later. By the way, can you tell me where and when the birthday party will be? Okay. But promise me you'll keep it! Oh, I swear by sweets and cookies that not a single soul would hear about it from me. It'll be in the evening on the 34th of April. But Sammy, there are only 30 days in April. Maybe you got something mixed up. Anyway, check this out. Our paper ice cream is almost done. Oh, Sue, can I have it, please? <laughs> Great. Uh, but it seems to me that sweets will fall out from this case. That's because we need one more piece of that work of art. And I need your help again. It is time for the greatest draftsman of all time! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh huh, uh huh, like that. Another line and enjoy the masterpiece! Nobody can do it better! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> okay, I will add a few touches if you don't mind. Now it's time for magic. Whoosh! Wow, guys, check this out! Does it remind you of anything? Hmm, now let me do something else. <laughs> uh huh. Now we're talking! <laughs> hmm. Hey, Sammy, what do you think we should draw here? I think it should be a cat because my friend from Tibi Dabba likes cats. And I will draw the cat he likes by myself. You'll see. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sammy, I guess I did that for you. But we also need some glaze. Huh? <laughs> now that's much better. Oh, hello! I think this is one of the best cases for sweets ever! And I think you're right, Sammy. Would you look at this cutie? Oh. Uh, and what's that, Sue? More cases. You can pick one or take them all. Wow! I'm so happy! I'm gonna have a bouquet of paper ice cream! And now, Sammy, before you eat all the sweets, let's make one more case. <laughs> this time, I think we should go with something inedible, like watches. Sue, it's awful! Somebody has stolen my sweets! I think it might be Rad! Hmm, maybe they can help you cook ratatouille and then you will eat sweets together. <laughs> Oh, calm down. You just accidentally tore down the package. Better look at what a beautiful case this is going to be. You're right. I would put some notes on it to keep them at hand. Huh. What decor should we make? Ah, uh, Sue, leave this to me. Okay, I trust you. <laughs> Yay! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here you go, Susie! Whoa! Sammy, is this the new Apple Watch? I totally love it. Calm down, Sammy. I know it's a gift. <laughs> sure! But now I have one problem. I don't know what to choose! And now we're going to make a piece of cake. Sammy, will you help me? Sure, Sue. Let's see who's the best crafter! Take your sheet of paper and repeat after me. Now please be attentive so we do everything on the first try. Definitely. I got it! <laughs> that was pretty easy! Oh, Sammy, we're making a paper piece of cake, not a paper hat. But I like 
like it. I think my favorite switch will fit well in it. Your favorite? I thought it was your friend's birthday, not yours. Your point being, I have the most sophisticated taste in sweets in the world. <laughs> You're the most cunning slime I've ever met, Sammy. And the only talking slime you've ever met. Oh, I'm so special. Oh, Sammy. Let's concentrate on what we're doing here. Uh, okay. You said that we're making a piece of cake, but I'm getting a plane. Should it fly? No, of course it shouldn't. Just be patient and keep watching and repeating. Now we're doing a lot of creases so we can put our piece of cake together later. Um, but can you at least explain to me when I'm gonna get that cake? Of course. I'm making the lid and you're making the case. Then we will put two things together. Oh my fat ass, so together they will make a piece of cake. All right. <laughs> now put away your piece and take a break. The next several steps will differ. Oh my fat, I really need some rest. It's so hard to make gift cases. Hmm, maybe we should just buy one next time and you won't be so tired and… No, 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 no. good macaroons. <laughs> I completely disagree. How could you say that? I'm just kidding, Sammy. Of course crafters can make better cases than any shop has. Ew, you scared me. I almost believe that you really think so. <laughs> okay, let's talk about something nicer. Hmm, what about the menu at the birthday party, hmm? It's obvious. Sweets, cakes, cookies, ice cream, and other tasty things. <laughs> right. And our cap is done. Now, where's that part that you've made? Here you go, Sue. I did my best. Oh, I can see that. Now look, our piece of cake is done. Hmm, but I guess it's too plain. Let's add some sweetness to it. Whoosh! Now it's much tastier. Our piece of cake needs a birthday candle. You're right. Looks much better this way. And check this out. We have two more pieces of cake. Oh my god, they're so great. It becomes much harder to choose one case for my gift. Sammy, do we have enough time before the birthday party? Ah, uh, yes, but we have no sweet. <laughs> what? But right before we started, you had a full package. Where is it? I've already told you it's those rats. They've eaten all of my sweets. Hmm, I doubt they could have done that. But I think I know who could. Ah, uh, really? I have no idea who you're talking about. I think it was the most famous sweet tooth in the world. <laughs> uh, okay, you caught me. But those were my favorite sweets. I know, Sammy. But what will you bring to the party then? Any ideas? Maybe you could give me your sweets and then Clausen won't be so sad. What? How did you know I have sweets? Were you spying on me? Wait, Clausen? Like, Santa Claus? I was spying on sweets. And yes, he is a Santa Claus of TV Daba, but you didn't hear that. Oh, okay. I won't tell anyone. But uh, maybe you can bring me some gifts? I can talk to him. If you'll be good and share some sweets. Hmm. I promise not to eat them. Okay, you know where to find them, little slick slime. Go. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a true friend. <sighs> and I'm almost done. Now let's bring this to life. Huh? Check out our happy baggie for sweets. How do you like it, Sammy? Wow, it's so cool. But I also made something. <laughs> what do you say now? <laughs> Oh, this is extra cute! And I have one more. Now let's have another look at our awesome sweets cases. later, but first, let's start with fluffy marshmallow sheeps. Their bodies will be made from chocolate cupcakes. We need butter, sugar, and vanilla extract. We're going to stir all of them together really well until we get a perfect fluffy mix. Sue, I've been shepherding some eggs here! Let's crack them one by one. Try not to get any eggshell into the mix. Now let's make the batter fluffy again. Mixer, make a huge whoosh. Freshly made buttermilk right from the slime farm. Thank you. 
<laughs> I guess slimes can do anything. Let's add our buttermilk into the bowl. Then we'll make another round of Shake Shake! <laughs> Sammy, use the whisk for this! Guys, we'll let Sam do some mixing. In the meantime, let's prepare the dry ingredients. Here are flour, baking powder, and some cocoa. I'll show you a real Shake Shake this time! Holy cannoli! That was something! Now we can sift the dry ingredients into the bowl with the batter. Be careful at this stage, guys, or ask an adult to help. I'm dancing in the rain and singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling, I'm happy again. Hey, Sammy, bring a cupcake pan here. The batter is almost done. We'll have a whole block of sheep. What a day! Guys, heat an oven up to 180 degrees Celsius and charge the pan there for 25 minutes. I'll deal with that. And you, make the wool! Sure! The wool is gonna be made of two main parts. Creamy base and fluffy marshmallow topping. We're gonna start with the base. The main thing here is to mix everything properly. Here we have some cream. Now goes the whipped cream and then vanilla sugar. When you're done, let this mixture cool down for a bit. My part is more fun! I'm gonna separate marshmallows! Pink to the right, white to the left. <laughs> Sammy, you've started a marshmallow battle! When you finish, you'll get ready to shape Annie's face! Amy is such a cute name! Sounds like Sammy, right? <laughs> For this step, we'll knead marzipan with powdered sugar and shape cute little face features. What a cute little sheep we've made! She's Defo Amy! Little cannoli! The cupcakes are ready! I really love our little Annie. Sam, where are you? Susie, I found the prettiest cupcake for Annie! Thanks! Let's start with the cold whipped cream. Smear it all over the top like this. Mmm, looks so yummy! After that, attach small marshmallow pieces from the broadest part to the center. Whoa! I can't wait to see the results, Sue! Annie, let's find you new friends! My fella, go find yourself a pretty meadow! Guys, we're switching to the second recipe. Sammy has been waiting for it. Woohoo! We're making cookie turtles! What do we have here? Flour, powdered sugar and eggs, vanilla extract, some oil, baking soda, and starch. And some butter, of course! Come on, Susie! When can we add some cocoa to this? In a moment, when the dough is kneaded, we'll divide it into two parts. Where is another piece going? I don't want to share! That piece is for the second part. Now let's make some choco turtle shells! I love chocolate! Guys, give a thumbs up if you do too! Let's pour some into our bowl! I like it too, but I also like coloring the dough. This piece is gonna be green. Sure! I totally forgot about that! And more, Susie! Here's a quick tip. Put on the glove so your fingers don't turn green. with one cute little turtle. Here are its limbs and a chocolate shell. The last one isn't ready yet. We should add some texture to it! You're right. Each turtle will have its own unique grid pattern on the shell. Guys, follow me and we'll see what you get. Now let's send our turtles outside! I mean to the oven. But don't forget to put all of the pieces together. Like this. The finishing touch is a couple of big chocolate eyes. Here we go! Go to the oven, my turtle army! I wish you would turn sweet and yummy! While the turtle cookies are baking, let's get to another famous animal helper. These are the future mice! First, we'll whisk some flour, baking powder, and salt. Then, into the mixer bowl, we'll put butter, vegetable shortening, sugar, and coloring. Which is blue, by the way. Let's mix them up! Susie, check this out! Choco Turtles came back! Oh, that one is so cute! Did you find a comfy plate for them? Yeah, it's tightly packed! There you go, buddy! Sammy, come back! The mice are waiting for you! I'm adding small parts of dry ingredients and mixing them into our batter. The main thing here, guys, is not to rush. Be patient and you'll get something really cool! Susie, I'll make a video! And cut! Guys, Susie said that the dough should be
be cooled down in a fridge for three hours! Hail Tibbetaba! We can use a time lapse! Now let's shape the first mouse! We'll use a small scoop to portion the dough like this. What? A mouse like this wouldn't help Cinderella get to the ball! I guess we should just shape it a bit, see? Now it looks more like a mouse, right? Not till we attach these ears to its head! Good point! Here comes one. And another ear. Such a cutie! Don't forget about the eyes to look around and the nose to sniff in every corner! We'll bake them in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius and then we'll attach the wiggling tails. See you in 10, guys! Guys, the baking time has passed like a second, right? All of the tails are in their places, and now it feels a bit crowded here. Just a bit? Lights are everywhere! Give way! Ah, <sighs> finally I have time to enjoy myself. Mmm. Out! Or I'm gonna be left with that Oreo! Here, you can start opening these. Salty pretzels? I wanted to taste something sweet, you know. Well, of course! That's what will make a topping from milk chocolate. Swirl a magic tornado, and it's melted! Woo! Attention, pretzels! You're jumping into a chocolate swamp! <laughs> yeah, fellas, we need to drown you a bit, and from the other side, too. Now you can rest on the baking tray while we are finishing with the others. Passengers, we're heading to the freezer to cool down for five minutes! And I'm going to make a yellow topping for the Oreo bees. We'll use melted white chocolate and food coloring to get a nice bright color. Shimmer me cheddars! It looks so colorful and yummy! Tammy, you've brought a cookie! Great! Erm, um, you can already give it away. No, no! Thanks! Oh, I was hoping to get one first. When we're finished, you'll get plenty of those. That's a promise. Fly, small bee! Right to your chocolate wings! Whoosh! Perfect landing! Next Oreo bomb! Splash! Now coat it in chocolate! Easy peasy! Let's roll it a few times like this. And one more bee is ready! Control the landing. To the left. Yep! Perfect, Captain! Guys, check this out! We can make a few more. Try not to eat all of these by yourselves, though. That was aimed at me, right? Now I can see all perspectives! Susie, we ran out of candy eyes! I think I know where they have all gone. <laughs> These candy eyes are for the bees only. Sorry, but I have to take the others, too. I still have my goggles on! Actually, I don't see any bees here. Only some bugs! I have a solution. We'll just add some chocolate stripes on their backs. There you go! The first bee is ready to fly! Just check this out, Sammy. Now all of them will have this heart-shaped blush. <laughs> I love all bees! You're amazing! My heart belongs to you! Anyway, stay alert! It turns out that the chocolate bees can also sting. I'm prepared for this! Keep them in the fridge for 30 minutes so they'll cool down! And after that, we'll visit our animal cookie kingdom again!